And Jehoshaphat said, let not the king say so. Right. Then the king of Israel called an officer and said, hasten here the Micaiah, the right. son of Eli. Go grab him, right? Drop down to verse 12. Go ahead. And all the prophets prophesied, so saying, go up to Ramoth Gilead and prosper, mm -hmm. for the Lord shall deliver it to it into the king's hand. Right, that's all 400 of them. That's what they said. Go ahead. And the messenger that was going to call Micaiah spake unto him, saying, mm -hmm. Behold now, the words of the prophets declare good unto the king with right. one mouth. Right, so all of them said the same thing. You know, they, they, they prophesied good unto the king, right? To try to let them know, you go ahead, you do the same thing too, don't you? Go against the grain now. Go ahead. Let thy word, I pray thee, be like the word of one of them. Right, let your word be the same as theirs. Go ahead. And speak that which is good. Right. And Micaiah said, uh -huh. as the Lord lived, yes. what the Lord said unto me, that will I speak. That's right. And that's what he did. How many times am I going to tell you? Whatever the Lord tell me, that's what I tell you. Go ahead. So he came to the king. Mm -hmm. And the king said unto him, what? Micaiah, yes. shall we go against Ramoth, Ramoth Gilead to battle, or shall we forbear? Uh -huh. And he answered him, go and prosper. That's right. Uh -oh. For the Lord shall deliver it into the hand of the king. Because that's what he wanted to hear. Mm -hmm. Right? He told him. Go and prosper. But well, look, the king kind of had doubts now. He said, wait a minute. Go ahead and read. 16. Mm -hmm. And the king said unto him, What's that? How many times shall I adjure thee that thou tell me nothing but that which is true in the name of the Lord? So if he knew it was true, why would he be, why would he be kind of skeptical and be like, now, how many times I got to tell you, tell me nothing but what thus said the Lord, right? He ain't believe me, because it's the first time he done said more good against me for him. Go ahead. And he said, yes. I saw all Israel scattered upon the hills right. as the sheep that have not a shepherd. Uh -huh. And the Lord said, these have no master. Right. Let them return every man to his house in peace. Uh -huh. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, did I not tell thee that he will prophesy no good concerning me but evil? Right. I told, already told you what he was going to say. We ain't have to go get him. Continue. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. Right. So this word of the Lord, is, he already, they, this scene has already had before the scene we just read about. This is like in the meanwhile, right? Go ahead and read. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne, mm -hmm. and all the host of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. So all the angels, right? Those are the hosts standing by him on the right and the left. Go ahead. And the Lord said, well, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and follow that Ramoth Gilead? Mm -hmm. And one said on this banner, and another said on that banner. So they said this and they said that. And what happened? And there came forth a spirit. Remember, just like the same spirit that came forth and presented itself before the Lord in Job's time. He said, one of them said this, and one of them said that. He said, then came another spirit and stood before the Lord. And what happened? And said, yes. I will persuade him. Right. And the Lord said unto him, where are we? So how are we? Go ahead. And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. So you see why all the prophets was lying. He said, what? I'm going to go forth and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. Right. Go ahead. And he said. Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. So you say, go ahead, it shall be done. You shall persuade him and you shall prevail. Go ahead. Go forth and do so. Yes. Now therefore, behold, the Lord hath put the lying spirit in the mouth of all the, these thy prophets. So now he's telling them why all of the, the uh, prophets, all 400 of the prophets was lying. Right. He had read down the whole scene, right, what the Lord showed him and told him. He said, therefore, behold, the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these 400 prophets. Go ahead. And the Lord had spoken evil concerning thee. The Lord had did what? Spoken evil concerning thee. Remember, he said, Shall evil come upon the city? Right. The Lord had not done it. He used Satan to do this also. Right. To be that lying spirit in the mouth of all these prophets. Right? Let me show you how we know it's Satan. Uh, drop down to verse 35. Go ahead. So the battle came, he started the battle. And uh, drop down to verse 34. Go ahead. And a certain man drew a bow in a bit adventure, mm -hmm. and smote the king of Israel between the joints of the harness. Right. Wherefore he said unto the driver of his chariot, right. Turn thine hand and carry me out of the host, for I am wounded. And the battle increased that day. That's Ahab. That's the king of Israel. Right. And what happened? And the king was stayed up in his chariot against the Syrians, and he died at even. And the blood ran out of the wound into the midst of the chariot. And there went a proclamation throughout the host about the going down of the sun, mm -hmm. saying, 
every man to his city, and every man to his own country. Right. So the king died and was brought to Samaria, and they buried the king in Samaria. Yes. And one watched the chariot in the pool of Samaria, and the dogs licked up his blood. That's good. That's good. That was already going to happen. Let's go to John 8, chapter real quick. We're going to see how we know the devil was saved. Verse 42, John 8 and 42. Because he said, I'm going to be a lying spirit in the mouth. He said, go ahead, spirit. You shall prevail and prosper. John 8 and 42. Talking to the spirit. Then Jesus said unto them, What you say? If God were your father, yes. you would love me. That's right. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Amen. Neither came I of myself, but, but he sent me. Yes. Why do you not understand my speech? Why you don't understand that ain't no man going to heaven? Mm -hmm. yeah. Why you don't understand that Jesus died in three days and three nights? This is the Lord's speech, right? So why don't you understand my speech? Go ahead. Even because you cannot hear my words. That's right. You are one of your you are of your father, the devil. You are of your father who? The devil. Okay. And the lust of your father ye will do. Right. He was a murderer from the beginning. And what else? And abode not in the truth. He, he, not, he don't abide in the truth. And what else? Because there is no truth in him. There's no truth in him. So when he said I'm gonna be a lying spirit, that's just natural to him. Go ahead and read. When he speaketh a lie, uh -huh. he speaketh of his own. Right, but you remember, he came forth on his own and said, right. I'm going to be a lying spirit in the mouth of all these 400 prophets. Mm -hmm. He said, when he speaketh of a lie, he speaketh of his own. Go ahead. For he is a liar. And what else? And the father of it. That's right. So that way ain't nothing new to him. Mm -hmm. He said, he a liar and the father of it. Right? Let's see what Peter said about it. Let's go uh, 1 Peter 5 and 6. 1 Peter 5, verse 6. That's what he do, you see. Why? Wow, so you need the spirit to, you can, so it can fight it for you. You need to obey the word so you can not be deceived by the deceiver, by the adversary, by the accuser. Huh? You need that. Drop down to verse 6. Talk to me. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, mm -hmm. that he may exalt you in due time. That's right. Cast all your care upon him, for he careth for you. That's right. Cast your care upon him. Why? Because he cares about you. <clears throat> Go ahead. Be sober. Uh -huh. Be vigilant. Vigilant. Right. Be sober. Look out. Keep watch. Be attentive. Diligent. All that. Why? Because your adversary, the devil. So you didn't know you had an enemy? And you don't even have no physical enemy. This is a, a, a spiritual enemy. Said your adversary, the devil, does what? As a roaring lion, uh -huh. walking the about, seeking whom he may devour. All right, just like a, a lion, a roaring lion, get ready to devour the prey. See, that's how Satan is on humans. Seeking well, he can devour. That's what he do. He go to and fro, looking and seeking who he may devour. Right. Let's get a look at who he. Who is trying to wage war again? Go back to Revelations the twelfth chapter. Revelations twelve. Pick it up at verse ten. If you don't stay in the truth. You don't stay in the scriptures. You got a good chance of getting about. But he's always, that's why he told you to be vigilant and be sober. Always be on the lookout. And we're going to find out why. Revelation 12 and 10, according to the scripture. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, What's that? Now it's come salvation. Right, because Satan has been kicked out at this point. Right now it's come salvation. Go ahead. And strength. Yes. And kick in the kingdom of our God. Uh -huh. And the power of his Christ. Yeah. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Okay, so he said, Now it's come salvation and strength and the kingdom of God. See, this is what it means. When he tell you, God will be done in earth as it is in heaven. It's already done in heaven. Now we wait on God's kingdom to come down on earth. We waiting for the accuser to be kicked out. We waiting on it. We waiting on that will to be done in earth like it is in heaven. Right? And then you see the angels, they rejoicing. 
Right. They said the accused of our brethren is cast down, which accuses them before our God day and night. That's what he does. He's good at it. Go ahead and read. Eleven. Yes. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. So how we overcome? By the blood of the Lamb. Go ahead and read. And by the word of their testimony. Yes. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Go ahead. And therefore rejoice ye heavens, uh -huh. and ye that dwell in them. Right. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Woe to the inhabitants of hell. Of the earth. And of the sea. That's right. So you see where he at once again. Woe unto the woe that means a warning. Who is he warning? The inhabitants of the earth and the sea. Go ahead and read. For the devil has come down unto you. And this is why he's warning you. Why? Because the devil has come down unto us to do what? Have a great wrath. Great wrath. So he's this a friendly devil. No, sir. Huh? Great wrath. Right? He's just he's, he compared to a roaring lion. And great wrath don't always have to be executed in a violent manner. Right. His ways are sub subtle. Subtility, deception, corner. And he can't be a destroyer at the same time. That's why he tell you to look out, be vigilant, sober. You can't afford to be intoxicated with this guy on the loose. Finish that. Because he know it that he had but a short time. That's right. Jump down to verse 17. And right. they, Get gone with 13, then 17. Go ahead. And when the dragon saw that he was cast into the earth. So the dragon even realized he cast into the earth. So how some preacher gonna tell you he he somewhere that he ain't even saying he is? <laughs> huh? Don't make sense. He said once he saw he was cast into the earth, what happened? He persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. He persecuted Israel, right? Which brought forth the man child. The man child is Jesus. So since he couldn't get the man child, because the roommate tried to kill him, when he was born, he couldn't do that because the Lord called him up, right? Drop down to verse 17. Go ahead and read. And the dragon was brought with the woman. The dragon was brought with the woman, right? What happened? And went to make war with the remnant of her seed. That's us. The remnant of the seed, that's who say making war with him. Who are they? Which keep the commandments of God and, well, and have the testimony of Jesus so, Christ. Those are the two recipes you need to be called the same. And they'll, those are the ones who say you have war with. The ones that keep the commandments of God and to have the faith in Jesus. That's why we run into so much deception on every side. Alright? That's why we are constantly being accused. You being deceived in order to be accused. You can't afford to lose this battle. Right? Let's look at it in a physical form, right? The Job, the first chapter again. Job 1 and 1. Job 1. He said he had war with the remnant. The ones that keep God's commandments. And have a faith in Jesus. That's what we are uh, pushing to do. So, guess what he's telling you? And a fight come with that. The war is on. It's between us and the dragon. You already got kicked out of heaven. Alright? Job 1, verse 1. Job 1, verse 1. Talking to the scripture. There was a man in the land of us mm -hmm. whose name was Job. Yes. And the man was perfect and upright. The man was what? Perfect and upright. The man, the man kept the commandments. He's a, he's a righteous man. All right? Go ahead and read. And one that feared God and eschewed the evil. So he, he feared the right one. Mm -hmm. This man feared God and he departed from evil. All right? So he will be counted as the remnant of the, the woman's seed. Go ahead and read. And there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters. Right. His substance also was seven thousand sheep. Right. Jump down to verse five. We ain't gonna get out of here. He, he, he had great riches at the same time. Go ahead. And it was so. Yes. When the days of their feasting were gone about, uh -huh. that Job sinned and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning and right. offered burnt offerings uh -huh. according to the number of them all. Right. For Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Right. Thus did Job continue. Go ahead. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. Okay. And Satan came also among them. Right. So we see how they work. We got to 
a couple of examples already how that works, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And the Lord said it to say, mm -hmm. which color is that? Where you coming from? What he say? They say now, the Lord is saying, from going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. So what is he doing? He's looking for somebody who he can devour, yes, right? Sir. According to what Peter just told us. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And the Lord said unto Satan, what? Has thou considered my servant Job? Oh, the Lord offered himself. Mm -hmm. So he said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? What Satan say? That there is none like him in the earth. And what is? A perfect and upright man. What do you do? One that feared God and sheweth evil. Okay. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, the Job fear God for not right. The Job fear you for nothing. Why would he say that? Go ahead and tell us. Has not thou made a hedge about it? Right, a hedge about it. Right, that's a protection. Right, that's another angel protecting the way. Right, go ahead and read. And about his house, yes. And about all that he hath on every side. Thou hast blessed the work of his hand, mm -hmm. and his substance is increased in the land. Right, so he's he running it all down. So obviously he done ran across Job. Right, before. Right, go ahead. But put forth thine hand now and touch all that he had. Hold on, he said what? But put forth thine hand now. So why he didn't say, let me get out? Or why he ain't already destroyed? Right. Because he got to get permission. He can't just go out on his own free will and destroy whoever he wants. He got to get permission from God in order to do this. That's why the Lord tell you, shall evil come in the city and I have not done it? Right. Ain't no evil coming in the Lord on the loud. Go ahead and read. And touch all that he had. Right. And he would curse thee to thy face. Right. That's, and that's what he said, said about you. Let me take away your job, your cause, your children. Guarantee you ain't going to stand tall. You're going to curse God to his face. But why would he do this? He said, because this man trying to keep the commandments. He don't he just a man. It's only so long he can go with it. He can last. Go ahead. And the Lord said unto Satan, What? Behold, all that he has is in thy power. Look, you can take all this stuff. Only upon himself, but not forth thine head. Just don't kill him. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. Let's see if he killed him. And there was a day when his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. Mm -hmm. And there came a messenger unto Job and said, what? The oxen were plowing, and the asses feeding beside them. Uh -huh. And the savings fell upon them. And took them away. Yeah, they have slain the service with the edge of the sword. And I only am escaped alone to tell thee. Right. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The fire of God is fallen from heaven, and hath burned up the sheep, and the servants, and consumed them. And I only am escaped alone to tell right. thee. So we get that all Job stuff, right? Go ahead. While he was yet speaking, mm -hmm. there came also another and said, the Chaldeans made out three bands and fell upon the camels and have carried them away. Yea, and slain the service with the edge of the sword. Right. And I only am escaped alone right. to tell right. So he's going from super rich to poor overnight. Mm -hmm. And how this is happening one after another after another. Go ahead. While he was yet speaking, there came also another saying, Thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine in the eldest brother's house. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house, and it fell upon the young men, and they are dead. Not, and my, not my seeds, too. You know, I took all my stuff now, my children also. We know Satan just didn't know he's going to curse God, right? Go ahead. And I only have escaped alone to tell you. Right, so all this news is happening back and back and back. The other man ain't finished telling the whole story yet. Or the next one come in and tell them what happened, what he done lost. Right, he done lost all this uh, substance, sheep, camel, oxen, his, his children. All right, go ahead. Excuse me. Verse 20. Mm -hmm. Then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head right. and fell down upon the ground and worshipped. Uh oh. And said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb. So he didn't curse God. Mm -mm. He did contrary. He worshipped. And he said, Naked I came out of my mother's womb. And naked shall I return to right. I ain't bring nothing in this world. I ain't taking nothing out with me. Go ahead and read. The Lord gave. Who? The Lord gave. And what else? And the Lord had taken away. That's right. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Uh-huh. And all this, Job said not, nor ch charge God foolishly. All right. So he, he passed the test, right? Let's see if it stopped. Go ahead into the second chapter. Again, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. Right. The same came also among them to present himself so you before see the this Lord. happens over and over. This is a repetitive process. It don't just happen one time. 
they they uh, spy out the earth and then they go and report the matter to the Lord, right? Day by day. Go ahead. Two. Yeah. And the Lord said unto Satan, From whence comest thou? Yeah. And Satan answered the Lord and said, what? From going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down. So you're doing the same thing. Go ahead and read. And the Lord said unto Satan, mm -hmm. As thou considered my servant Job. Right. He already passed the test once. He said, Have you considered my servant Job? Go ahead. That there is none like him in the earth. Right. A perfect and upright man. Mm -hmm. What they feareth God and escheweth evil. Go ahead. And still he holdeth fast his integrity. Right. Although thou movest me against him to destroy him without cause. That's right. He still holding fast his integrity. Even though you was ready me to go ahead and put my hand on without a cause. Go ahead and read. And Satan answered the Lord and said, yeah. Skin for skin. Oh, that wasn't good enough. Let me touch him. Because remember, he said, you can take all this stuff, just don't just don't touch his life. And now Satan's like, nah, that, that wasn't good enough. You know, skin for skin. Go ahead. Yeah. All that a man had will he give for his life. That's right. Go ahead. But put forth thine hand now. Hold on. Let, he said what? But put forth thine hand so now. So he's asking the Lord. He can't just go and do it on his own as much as he would like to. Go and just destroy everybody without the Lord's permission. He got to get permission from the Lord. He's like, put forth your hand now. Go ahead. And touch his bone mm -hmm. and his flesh, and he will curse thee to thy face. That's right. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he is in thine hand. All right, so in your hand, go ahead and do it. But save his life. Just don't kill him. All right? Go ahead. So when Satan forth from the presence of the Lord, and smote Job with sore balls mm -hmm. from the sole of his foot unto his crown. Right. And he took him a pot chair to scrape himself with all. And he sat down among the ashes. All right, so he manned up, right? Scraped all the boys off. And he sat down among the ashes, showing humility. Go ahead. Then he said his wife unto right, him. Here we go with this. Who then he said who? His wife unto him. It's like what? Does thou still retain thy integrity? I always got to say something. She sounds just like Satan, don't she? <laughs> who you think persuaded her to say that? Exactly. exactly. He said, does thou now... Retain thine integrity, what you want me to do? Curse God and die. Exactly what he said, ain't it? Mm -hmm. He said he'll curse you to your faith. Mm -hmm. Now she come out, you still ain't did it yet. Yeah. Curse God and die. You still retain your integrity. Curse God and die. What Job said, I know he did it. Go ahead. But he said it to her. Huh? Thou speakest it, speak it as one of the foolish women speaking. Oh, so contrary to Adam, he told her, you speak as one of the foolish women speaking. This is all Adam had to do. Mm -hmm. We still would have been living long eternally by now. Long life. He said, you speak as one of the foolish women speak. Go ahead. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of God? See, that's what we, we cool with that. Everybody, we good with it. God blessed us. He done did, did. He blessed me. But look at this portion. Go ahead. We, this is the part we ain't good with. And shall we not receive evil? Right. This is what she didn't realize. He, he said we receive evil from who? God. He already knew who brought this on. He already know the Lord I'm, I'm, ain't no evil coming up unless the Lord do it or unless the Lord allow it. And he said, you speak as one of the foolish women speaking. Shall we receive good at the Lord's hand and not eat evil? All right, go ahead. And all this did not Job sin with his lips. That's right, that's what you got to remember. Go oh, say move you to transgress the commandments. You got to stand tall. Because you got to remember, Satan don't have no power on self what the Lord allow him. We need to fear the Lord. Put the fear back in the right place. You saw what Job did. He feared God. That's why he didn't charge him foolishly with his mouth. Why I say work out your own salvation with what? Fear. Fear and trembling. Right? Let's read that real quick. Let's go to Philippians 2 and 12. We got to put the fear back where it belongs. Give God back his glory. Philippians 2, we'll read one verse, verse 12. Philippians 2 and 12. Philippians 2, verse 12. Talking to the scripture. Wherefore, my beloved, mm -hmm. as ye have also obeyed, right. not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. What you want me to do? Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. That's how he wants you to work it out. With fear of the Lord. Fear of what? Trembling. Knowing that 
this man got all power. If he want to get at you, he said them destroyers to get at you. He said, work out your own salvation with fear and shame. So we need to fear the Lord and not Satan. Because the Lord is the Satan is the one that's working for God. Mm -hmm. Right? Let's go look at uh, Psalms, the second chapter, verse 11. We got a few couple more, and then we have Psalms 2 and 11. So we see how the process goes. Now we need to find out who to fear. To fear the Lord and not save him. Psalm 2, verse 11. Talking to the scripture. Hold on. I'll let him get it. Psalm 2, verse 11. Psalm 2, read one verse. Verse 11. Talking to the scripture. Serve the Lord with fear. And what else? And rejoice with trembling. That's how you need to serve him. You can't serve him if you don't fear him. Nowadays, they take fear away and replace it with love. But they are saying to have you fear and Satan. No, no. You fear the Lord. But now you understand that Satan works for God. And he can't move a muscle unless the Lord say so. So the one you should fear is the Lord. Then work out your own salvation with fear and with trembling. Deuteronomy 4 and 9. We got two more. Deuteronomy 4, verse 9. The Lord was telling us all the way when in the beginning, but I fear in him. Deuteronomy 4. First, we'll do verse 1 again, go down to verse 9. 1 and 2 again, verse 9. Welcome to the scripture. Now therefore hearken, O Israel. Listen, Israel. Go ahead. Unto the statutes and unto the judgments. Listen unto the statutes and unto the judgments. That's what you should be listening unto. Go ahead and read. Which I teach you. Which the Lord teaches you. Go ahead. What to do them. Uh-huh. That ye may live. Uh-huh. And go in and possess the land which the Lord God, the God of your fathers, giveth you. Right. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you. Or what else? Neither shall ye you diminish out from it. Right. That ye may keep the Commandments of the Lord your God, which I command. Right, go down to verse 9. Go ahead and read. Only take heed to thyself. Take heed to yourself. And keep thy soul diligent. Uh huh. Lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen. Right, he said, then this is the problem. He said, keep it diligently. If you don't, you're going you gonna to forget. Just like they forgot when they came out of the wind, they forgot the signs and wonders the Lord had given for them in the land of Egypt. So we tell you to be the same way. Keep your soul diligently unless you forget what he done for you. Go ahead. Unless they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. Right. Unless what he's done, his signs and his wonders and his greatness depart from your mind. Depart from your heart all the days of your life. That's a dangerous state. Go ahead and read. But teach them thy sons. Teach them to who? Thy sons. And what else? And thy sons, sons. Yes. Especially the day that thou stoodest before the Lord thy God in Horeb. All right, so especially the day the Lord came down on the mount to get the Ten Commandments. Go ahead and read. What the Lord said unto me. What? Gather me the people together. Now uh -huh. get all the people together. And I will make them hear my words. And I will make them hear my words. For what reason? That they may learn to fear me all the days. That they may learn to do what? Fear me all the days. That they may learn to do what? Fear me all the days. That they shall live upon the earth. All the days that you live on earth that you may learn the fear of the Lord. Go ahead. And that they may teach their children. And that you may teach your children. Teach them your children what? To fear the Lord. You understand? Not fear of Satan. Fear the Lord. Let's go to Psalms 128 and 1. Psalms 128 verse 1. We've got one more place. Psalms 128, verse 1, then drop down to verse 4. Psalms 128 and 1. That you need to learn to fear the Lord. All right? Harmony mm -hmm. to the scriptures. Blessed is everyone that feared the Lord. Hold on, you said who is what? Blessed is everyone that feared the Lord. Run that, run that Bible one more time. Blessed is everyone that feared the Lord. Hold on, I got to process it. Hit me again. Blessed is everyone that feared the Lord. So blessed is everyone that feared the Lord. Mm -hmm. Right? What verse 4 say? When we finish that? Yeah. That walketh in his ways. That's keeping this command. What do verse 4 say? Behold. Yes. That thus shall the man be blessed that feared the Lord. Thus shall the man be what? Blessed that feared the Lord. 
place that feared the Lord. Right? Last place, Luke 12, chapter, verse 4. This is why you need to fear the Lord the most. Luke 12 and 4. Luke 12, verse 4. Luke 12 and 4. Luke 12, verse 4. Hearken to the scripture. And I say unto you, my friends. Okay, so Jesus called his friend. He said, I say unto you what you say, Jesus. Be so not he, afraid of them that kill the body. Don't be afraid of them that kill the body. And afterward, they have no more that they can do. So after that, they don't have nothing else they can do to you. Don't you know Jesus had to do this himself? He realized that. Once they kill me, that's all they can do. I don't have to fear these guys. What else? But I will forewarn warn you. So he's going to warn you whom you shall fear. Go ahead. Whom ye shall fear. Go ahead. Fear him which after he had killed had power to cast into hell. Yeah, I say unto you, fear him. So don't fear the ones that can kill the body and after that they can't do nothing else to you. You need to fear the one that after he done killed your body, took your spirit, your physical life away, on that judgment day he got the power to cast you into hell. Which is the second death. That's the one you need to fear. You need to fear the Lord. That's the Lord. The one who made all things for himself and by himself. Fear him, not Satan. So I hope somebody got some understanding in Jesus' name. I thank y'all for the time. Amen. All right, somebody let him know across the street.